What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Swamp and Stomp and today we have a gear review. The stuff that we review in these videos we're actually going to be giving away and you can get in on that giveaway pretty simply. All you got to do is become a Patreon member and you can find the link to do that down in the description or you can just go to patreon.com slash swamp and stomp. That is a big deer. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo! What a rush. Money. That deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. Today, we're gonna to be talking about two items from XOP Outdoors. We have their new Invader platform, and we have the X2 Sticks, four pack of X2 Sticks. And as I said, you can win these items through our giveaway. All you gotta do is become a Patreon member. So go down to that link in the description and uh, get yourself entered to win these exact items right here. Now, just so you guys know, this is not the first time that I have messed around with these particular items. We actually did a saddle hunter workshop a few months ago. So for those of you that came out to support the event, we really appreciate it. And we actually did a raffle for these exact items right here. Uh, but it was the first time that I used them. It was the first time Danny used them. The, the whole crew used them. And we were so impressed with them. We just figured if we're going to give away some items, we want to give away something that we really liked. So today I'm going to walk you through what some of the reasons are that we really like these items what some of the cool features are that they have um, and also a little bit of uh, an instructional video on how to cam over this platform so that it locks onto the tree really tightly now before i get into reviewing the xop stuff i just want to mention that for me i have a relatively new gold standard of what a stick and platform should be and that's because last year i have been using uh the out on a limb ridge runner 2.0 platform this is a mini stick this is what i use for one sticking it's a 12 inch car stick i really really like this shikar stick it grips onto the tree incredibly well and it's super solid so this kind of set a new standard for me for how a stick should function um, and this platform really set a new standard for me as well because it locks onto the tree so incredibly tightly that it almost feels like it's a part of the tree. And previous platforms that I had used before that, and I'm not gonna name any names here, but a lot of the bigger companies in the saddle hunting world, they seem to make stuff with this mentality of like, meh, that'll work. Whereas some of these smaller companies are usually making really innovative stuff that, uh, you know, that really functions a lot better than some of those bigger companies. So some of the other platforms we had used, yeah, they worked. But when I put this thing on a tree and realized just how hard this locks on, um, I, I realized that I could never go back to using one of those platforms that kind of sloppily attaches to the tree. You kick it from the side and it, it comes loose. I've had it happen on multiple occasions using some of those other platforms where I've got an animal coming out that I want to shoot and I have to work my way around the tree. So I am side loading that platform and I draw up and right at the moment that I want to shoot, I've had that platform like slip. Um, and you know, usually it catches, but it slips, it makes a bunch of noise, it alerts the animal. Um, and it also just like messes with your head and really like throws off your focus. And I, I can't be dealing with that when I'm hunting. So I really like to have a platform that locks on tightly. So that's the first thing. I need a platform that's gonna lock on tightly. This platform right here, my only problem with it is that it is heavy. Actually, I have two problems with it. One, it is heavy. I'll talk about the other problem in a second. So let's weigh it real quick. This platform, look, we're at zero right now. We're looking at the total weight of uh, 4.6 pounds on this one. So pretty chunky. And then here's this new platform from XOP. Let's tear this out. Zero. Let's put that in there. 3.57 so this is an entire pound lighter than the other one 
and it locks on just as tight. But just out of curiosity, I want to know how they measure up. So, so one thing that is nice about the out on a limb, it is wider, substantially wider, uh, which is going to allow you to kind of work your way around the tree a little bit better. And as far as how far they stand off the tree, yeah, the out on a limb is going to stick out a little bit more. You can see those uh, the teeth there. Uh, are more centered so it's going to keep it a little further off of the tree so it does give you more uh, foot space this particular one but anyway the other complaint that i have about the out on a limb is that in order to create more grip they basically created these little gouges in the aluminum which works incredibly well it grips so incredibly strongly it, I, I can't even twist my foot when my pre when i have weight on there um, and as I move on this thing, I have to be very careful to like lift my feet completely off before I rotate them because otherwise the grip on the bottom of my boots will catch on this and as it slips, it makes a lot of noise. It still would grip well without having all that noise and I think that XOP has done a really good job at creating something that grips really well but has a, a much um, smaller profile so what they've done for grip is they've used like a bed liner material and I mean this stuff it's like sandpaper in fact I just like cut my finger <laughs> just rubbing it against it so it's incredibly grippy um, but it's not going to have that uh, that issue where it like catches on your the, the grippy part of your uh, your boot causing it to make a lot of noise so I really like that aspect of it so let's talk about the sticks now, I, I will say that I, I'm not really a stick climber, like a multiple stick climber, uh, mostly because I just don't have a full set of sticks. I, I would use them if I had them, uh, but generally speaking, I use my one stick. And so this is a, a 12 inch stick. These X2 sticks, I believe off the top of my head are 17 inches. So there's a substantial difference there. Let's so from the top of the bottom step, you know, these are basically like almost half of what these are. But with that said, uh, I'm gonna weigh this stick with all the stuff hanging from it, which is gonna add a little bit of weight. And, and honestly, you could use one of these X2 sticks for one sticking if you shortened it up yourself. All right, we're at zero. So this is the uh, out on a limb. We're looking at just under two pounds, 1.95 for the whole setup here. The X2 stick, all right, we're at zero. Hook it in there. We're looking at 1.72 pounds. Now, this does not include the strap. Uh, you can use a few different options. You can use uh, some AM steel if you want to use the rope mod. Uh, that's definitely your lightest option. Um, I will mention that both of the platforms were compared with straps on. Um, so that is complete weight what you'd carry into the woods. So these are 1.72 pounds. They're honestly like, they're pretty darn light. I think they're pretty damn close to what a shikar stick of the same size weighs. Um, I think the shikar stick might be just a tickle lighter, but these are also a heck of a lot cheaper. You can buy a four pack of these for $180. I believe the shikar sticks in the same size, I want to say they're like $80 or $85 a piece. So you make a four pack out of it, you're talking $340. $340 for a four pack of shikar sticks of the same size versus $180. So these are almost half the price. Uh, so that's pretty incredible. Another really, really cool thing about these sticks that I like is just how big the standoff is. Like, look at that thing. It's a five inch standoff. So when you put that thing on a tree, like it sticks out a really long ways. And you might be thinking like, well, who, the, what, who cares? Because you're gonna be standing like that. But me personally, when I get up on these, I like to, I like to do this move where if I wanna work hands-free, I'll put my foot sideways across this and just stand on one foot and I'll wrap the other foot around the tree so I can hold myself to the tree and that way I can work hands free when I'm up there, uh, which is a really uh, useful move for when you're one sticking so you can move your tether up. Um, so the fact that these stick out a long ways means that you can get your whole foot on there. For those of you who are super tall, uh, this extra standoff is going to make it so that you can get more of your foot on it when you put it, you know, regular ways. Uh, me personally, I'm not that tall. I'm like 5'8", so it's not as big of a 
problem for me, <clears throat> but I really, really like that. Another cool fun functional thing about these is they have these like stacking rings that are uh, attached to every single stick that allow you to, uh, to stack them on top of each other. So there's two ways to do it. You can either flip them so that you have a ring on each side and then you just go in like that and they pop into place. And I mean, they're, they hold on pretty tight. Um, and so you can do all four of them or you can do two, uh, you know, so you can put two on each side of your pack or you can put them all, all four like stacked on top of each other, uh, whatever you like. You can also, if you want, uh, the standoff has a place that you can stack them as well. If you don't like stacking them that way, you could stack them this way, old school style. So you have a choice uh, of how you want to do them. Uh, but if you do do it this way, then you don't get to these little snap rings to snap in place. So you have options. Anyway, that's enough jibber jabber about the features. Let's put them on the tree and um, kick them a little bit and see if we can make a move. Because at the end of the day, that's really the most important part, right? First things first, let's look at some platforms. First, I'm going to lock on the, um, the out on a limb so I can show you kind of like why this is my gold standard. <sighs> That's about all the way. This is why this platform is so awesome. Kick it from the side, like even from behind it, I can push on this thing and it is like locked in. I mean, you can see that it's kind of wiggling a little bit because I'm literally kicking it from behind from the side. But on any realistic angle that you're gonna put pressure on this thing, you know, you're usually gonna be more from above. You are not gonna get this thing to move. And this is exactly why this platform has become my favorite. We're going to see if the XOP can uh, do something similar. I just want to point out that a lot of people don't really know how to cam over a platform properly. What a lot of people end up doing is they'll have their platform like already extended out like this. And they'll basically just tighten this up. And then they'll fold it and slide it down the tree. And this sort of creates this downward angle with the strap and then they'll cam it over. I have found that the best way to get this incredibly tight, instead of having this cammed over before you adjust your strap, I like to have it up, get that strap to be horizontal on the tree, and then tighten it, and then go to cam it over. If you could actually cam this over, it would be insanely tight. Actually gonna have to loosen it up a little bit to get this to cam over. All right. I don't think you're gonna get it much tighter than that. Look at this. Look at the damage that this standoff has done to the tree and me camming it over. And look at it biting onto the tree. So I guess the question now becomes, how does it take side pressure? Let's find out. Jeez. Yeah, that's tight. I mean, just like the other platform, this is locked in place. I don't even think it's fully cammed over yet. I can't even get it to fully cam over. I'd have to loosen the straps a little bit more to get it to cam fully. But even now, I can kick it. You can see it moves a little bit. It doesn't slide though. It just creates a little bit of wiggle. I mean, that is tight. And this is exactly why I was so impressed with this platform when, uh, when I tried it out at our workshop. Locks on just as tight as my gold standard, which is this out on a limb uh, Ridge Runner 2.0, but a pound lighter. It is a little bit smaller, so kind of depends what you want. Um, I really like my Ridge Runner. I'm probably not going to get rid of it, but this uh, this XOP Invader is freaking sweet, and I might have to get me one myself. Let's rip these off the tree and let's look at some sticks. All right, first off, we're gonna look at my old gold standard out on the limb shikar stick, which I have a massive three-step aider on because I use it for one sticking, but we're not gonna focus on that. We're gonna focus on how well it bites onto the tree. Same deal with the stick. I always like to make sure that my rope is going around pretty much horizontal, but get it as tight as possible before I push it down. And this, once you put your weight on there, it really locks in. So this is one thing I really liked about this stick to begin with is that if 
I if I ever like needed to use it to um, you know as a stick to step around the tree when I'm hunting you can side load this pretty well like and obviously this is not going to take as much as a cammed over platform but you can really put a lot of side pressure on that before it starts to slip see there it started moving but um, it just grips onto the tree super well uh, that's something that I'm definitely looking for in a stick let's put one of these bad boys on the tree too all right so like I said keep that strap horizontal before you get started let's start pushing down so one thing I want you guys to notice I'll show you this a little closer here look at my foot the size of my foot look at how big that step is from the tip of the tree it reaches uh, basically to the third little thing on my crock right pretty darn big now look at the shikar stick tip of my shoe it's only getting to the back of the second one so i'm getting i don't know it looks like an inch inch and a half more room on these x2 sticks now for somebody with relatively small feet or average feet i guess not that big of a deal but for people that have really big feet that's going to matter a lot but even for me um having you know the size feet that i have this is still really darn nice like it's going to make climbing a lot more comfortable and when i do this move let me angle you guys up a little bit i do this move that i do when i'm hanging cameras put my foot sideways wrap my my foot around the tree I have so much space to stand on that stick so I'm really liking these sticks super solid um, and I love the stacking function in it both of these sticks are great but considering that the uh, the x2s are like half the price of the shikar stick it doesn't surprise me why they're so popular right now so Hopefully you guys liked this video. And again, if you want to win these sticks and platform, go check out our Patreon page, patreon.com slash swamp and stomp, or just go down in the description of this video so you can get into that giveaway. Um, and if you're not interested in that, go buy yourself some XOP sticks.